Hey everybody, welcome back to my random vlog of the day. And today, we are gonna be, I just posted, but that was just my introduction. Now I'm gonna actually make a video. I'm gonna show you my room. An actual tour of my room. Unlike the last video, although it was like really short, so I think I already... So, why don't we start at the door? So... As you can see, I have a ring sticker up here because I have a ring video doorbell right outside my room. A little kid uh, sticker. I don't know, not really a sticker. Some carbon monoxide stickers. Bell. Kind of. It's just a doorbell button. That Velcro right there. I don't know if you can see that. No, not really. There's Velcro there. That's where my ring video doorbell is. Anyways, let's close the door. Right up here is my basketball goal. It's like a little basketball goal. I believe the basketball is underneath. Oh no, it's not. I forgot where I put it. Oh, I forgot to show you one thing. A great wolf lodge just to go right there. This is James Street. Pretty cool. Over here are my keys for various fire alarms and probably put my elevator keys on that too. I don't know what this is, probably from the keys. This is funny. Light switch, attic switch. Yep, there is an attic that was included in here. There's a smoke alarm. A very old smoke alarm. There's a fire alarm. A fire alarm pole station. If you guys want me to, I can tell you the models of these two. So this is Firelight PG12. Kitty Nighthawk P19000, I believe. System Sensor P2RL. Kitty Candace this USN dash BA. Uh, this is a Signal 1 vocal smoke alarm. Not sure of the model, I have to figure that. Ugh. Excuse me. I have to figure that out. Down here's the adapter for the um, file alarm wall board. Yeah, as you can see, it's like mounted. It's like the little adapter for it. Kitty can dash cob dash dp2 carbon monoxide alarm. Going on up is a Otis Vandal resistant touch. Rare fixture. Came right from the Empire State Building, by the way. Which is also interesting. Here's my closet, which I currently cannot open yet. Cinching cord. And uh, this one's pretty high up. Kitty i9040. And as you can tell, these are taped on because. I had nowhere I can screw them in. Here's the um, air duck. Here's my hamster's cage. Her name is Lucy. I have more videos of her on her separate channel. Not really more videos. I have, uh, she only has, I think, five videos. Here's her little traveling cage. Yes, I travel with her. Why not? There's a Rubik's Cubes. This is a long braille, I believe it came off an Otis elevator. Uh, sorry about all this movement, I'm just trying to... World's smallest Rubik's Cube, silly putty. Speed stickers. Smaller speed stickers, I think these are the world's smallest. World's smallest smoke alarm. 2x2, two two. here's a Ripley's coin. Daisy Amiibo. And two rocks. This one actually, uh, this red one came right from the Red Rock Canyon. The purple one came from Planetarium. There's a Garoot. And these things. Pretty cool. I got it from school. Here's a little, another Rubik's Cube. Ocean City Rock, which I got from my last trip to Ocean City, Maryland. Here are these Pac-Man cherries, which I unboxed on a, um, on my old channel. I unboxed these. At a random point. And a Rubik's Cube in the back. Some more thinking putty. Ugh, sorry about all this movement. Yo yo. Rubik's Cubes. Including a concave cube. Here's a little paper bird that my brother made. Some more white Rubik's Cubes. Proportional Rubik's Cubes. A 4x4. And a little silver squishy, which. 
It's pretty cool. It's made by Slip.io. I think it's made by Bonkers Toys. I can use my curtains. That's my Chromebook for school. Sitting down right here is my favorite pool of balls. The second drawer is all my notification appliances and fire alarms and all that random stuff. Right in, oh, here's the basketball. Want me to shoot it? Oh, it's deflating. That's not good. I'm not even sure if I scored, but whatever it is, I think I scored in there. I'm terrible at this. My Nintendo Switch. Oh, here's my adapter. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I found that the other day. Some more various Rubik's Cube puzzles. My hamster stuff. Random stuff in here, including a perplex Star Wars in there. Little jet blue mask, which I got from the airplane from when I went to a um, when I went to Las Vegas one time. Not sure if I'm going this year, but I'll have to see. Little elevator limit switch right here. Two Rubik's lights, which I currently cannot find the charger for. I got two on the same birthday. Yeah, this is a chicken noodle soup safe. It's basically my med kit. Some silly putty. This is a game of life. Little spinner roulette there. Cough drops. Kinetic sand. Here's my clock. Capello. Water bottle. Here's my fan, which I obviously I obviously replaced. Because it usually gets hot in here. Lamp, Minecraft lamp. Another water bottle. This little ski ball machine actually works. Some various Rubik's Cube corner turning puzzles. Here's my diamond. Not a real diamond, just fake. <sighs> There's some stickers. They're usually, they're scattered all over my room. And here's my bed, which is obviously not very neat. And right next to me is a smoke alarm. And it's photoelectric. This is the main smoke alarm that's in my channel, Art for Photoelectric Elevators. This is the smoke alarm. Some pillows all over the place. Here's some pictures. This is the Manhattan Bridge picture. And the Verrazano Bridge picture. If I'm moving too much, I'm very sorry, because, oh gosh. Another smoke. Oh, by the way, that one's the P3010L, by the way. Kidda. Kidda Candesium Dash B smoke alarm. And this is the brightest green flashing smoke alarm ever. This is the greatest, brightest LED I've seen. It's pretty bright. My Dover elevator car operating panel, which I got for Christmas one year. I have the, I recently bought keys for them. Pretty cool. My chair. My tripod for my phone, which I used for my last video. Here's some uh, hotel cards and some stack mat timers. Here's a dartboard. Monitor. I mean, oh no, that's my PC. This is my monitor. Believe it or not, this is a 4K monitor screen. Some speakers. Another Rubik's Cube in the back. Little elephant decoration. Timer. A book about elevators and a dictionary as well, because I need a dictionary. Another speaker. Box. It's actually a reverse vending machine box, whatever. I just made it. This is a really neat piece. This is a Lego candy machine I built myself. This is the remote. Can I control my camera? And the elevator button that was on my channel art of photoelectric elevators. That's my air cleaner. Now going on down here. Oh, there's all my school stuff. That's some really interesting. Here is all my um, electrical equipment. I got a bunch of mounting boxes. I even have a bell. 
which is going to be for my Dover elevator button. I'm going to wire it up. Electrical tape. Nothing really interesting in here. Oh, what's... You hear my alarm bell going off. And here's all the cabinet that stores all my random stuff. Putting random ball. Otis, Otis glow back. They stack cups. I you see how this is all wired up. This isn't wired up now. It's not lighting up now because I didn't. Um, these buttons on the side control the lanterns. And this is made by the PTL Elevator Incorporated. This is like an older PTL Elevator car operating panel. Which has kind of the same floor numbering as the Dover Elevator button, except this is one, uh, but on the Dover this is one and this is lower level instead of basement. Stop, run. I've never seen a um, elevator panel that has a button that actually says reset on it. Usually it says car call cancel fire hat. Another I-9040 right there. Here's some Edwards elevator fire alarms. That one's a Genesis. This one's a Sega. Pulsation. One of my favorite smoke alarms. Just because it talks. I just like the voice. Okay, and this is some just BA. It's pretty much the same one that's up here. Ugh. A little fake elevator button. And I almost missed this right here. A uh, carbon oxide on Candace CB LP2. And these are plaques or like pictures of like the first elevator and the first bridge. One of them fell off. Monitor screen. There's a Kitty 0910, not I9010. It's 0910. There's a Polaroid picture I took from my sister's phone. I mean, I'm her Polaroid camera. Little English bookmark. All my markers, and this is where we're gonna conclude our tour. And there's a little today picture frame, which was right here, but it's not here. So I have to put my fire alarm stuff here. So that's gonna conclude this video. So hope you all enjoyed this. I could make a new room tour update if I moved. If I moved too much, I can make probably make a better video than this. But hope you all enjoyed this little video, and that'll be it.